meaning of economics. Now, today you are going to understand something which is no different from anything that you do in your normal life. Okay, economics is not something which is suddenly which has come into your life. It's a part and parcel of your life. Okay, now what do you mean by economics? First, let me give you an example. Try to understand it. Okay, and then we will understand the technical side of it. So there's a definition which is there in the books. Okay, which precisely says what is economics. But because here we are more to understand what is economics, let's take a example. Now let's say for example, there is a person, or let's say I'll call him a student, S. And we have mother of S as well. Now S basically studies in grade 11. And he gets rupees 2000 per month as his pocket money. Now once S gets 2000 rupees from his mother, he has to spend it on various things. Things like the conveyance that he pays as he goes from home to school. Okay. Anything that he eats in the cafeteria in the lunch break. Right. Any get together he might arrange with his friends. Okay, so let's say for example, he goes for a movie. He goes for a T20 match, a cricket match, a soccer match or whatever it might be. And some other entertainment stuff. And could be something else as well. So let's say he wants to spend a lot of time on Facebook. But the mother says, okay, your internet charges are also to be met out of this particular amount of 2000. Now, ideally, S would have said, Mom, I have all these requirements. Let's say the cost of each one of these is 500, 500, 600, 3000, 1600, 1500, and 1500. So let's say the total cost is uh, 3 plus 3, 6, 7600. Ideally, S will tell his mother that give me 7,600 so that I can go and meet out all my demands. But fact of the life is that there may be some constraints and I'm not saying it's true in all the cases in terms of the income of the family. So they cannot give anything more than 2,000. So as a student, okay, he has to make a choice on which of the following demands should he try and meet and which should he skip. So let's say even if the budget is increased to 4000, the total cost is 7600. Obviously some demands are such that you really can't do anything about them. But here comes the problem of choice. Why? Because this guy has to choose between either of these options because he has limited money at his disposal but the demands that he have or the requirements that he have or the wants if I may call it that he has are unlimited or at least more in number than the amount of money that he has. Right? Now if I talk about economics, coming back to the main topic, economics is nothing but the study okay, of how we use scarce resources to satisfy unlimited wants. 
So in this case, the example that I took, what are the scarce resources? The resources are scarce because his pocket money is 2000 or 4000. Whereas the wants or the demands or the requirements that he has are unlimited. I mean, I've just clubbed it at 7600. If he wants to go for all these three and there may be a whole list of other demands that he may have. So basically economics tells us that as to how an individual in this present case it could be even a complete society or it could even be a country. I mean the same problem is faced by everyone. Right? Let's say even at a country level okay you have various natural resources but you do not necessarily have all of them. So how you use these natural resources to satisfy this demand for your citizen is a requirement which is studied in every country. Economics as a subject helps you to achieve that. Right? The word economics itself is derived from two words which is one is O-I-K, O-U, also known as a house, and the second one is nomos, which means manage. Both these words are actually Greek words. Right? I hope you would have understood about economics, right? We are going to study about various aspects of economics in the coming videos.